Romy Reviews here. Please like, comment, subscribe. This is my review for Star Season 2, Episode 11, Take It to Church. So the episode starts off with Star, and she's having this terrible flashback. I, I mean, nightmare. And I knew it was a nightmare right away. Not because she was back in the house where Simone was being molested. Not because uh, out of all the other things that you would think would consist of a nightmare. It was because of that dang wig. I said... They did star so dirty in season one, having her wear that wig. <laughs> that little Bo Peep wig. So she wakes up, she goes outside. Uh, Derek is out there as well. And so <clears throat> Derek, he essentially just asked her, please don't say anything about it, Alex. I don't want to hear from her. Don't tell her about me and this whole therapy thing. But what are you doing out here? She said, look, I'm going to take a walk. And he said, wait, what, what, wait, 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 wait a minute. The only to come with you is dangerous. And she said, no, don't worry. Uh, I'm a teenage white woman. They'll find, they'll find me. I said, no, she did not. So while Star's walking the streets, not in that way, she sees this guy. Well, actually, she sees the singer singing this song, and it really affects her. So then this guy comes around. I said, oh, man, this guy looks like Star's type. Here we go with the foolery. And Star jets out of there. Now it's the next day, and it's time for the ladies to go down to the recording studio because, I mean, to the record label, because they have a song on the radio, and they need to go and try and push what little weight they have around. Do it as soon as possible, because this man is not playing. And when I say this man, I mean the new record exec, um, Ayana's father. Now, Carlotta sees a familiar face. So she sees her sister, talking to their cousin and the cousin's there to protect cotton but you know he's shifty and shaky we all have shifty and shaky allegedly people and our families or, or friends with and so there's always that person that you may not invite here or there because you don't want them to get involved in any type of foolery yeah that's that guy for them they move on from that and they visit ayana and she's drinking herself into a stupor She's a mess. She can't help Simone. She lost her job. So the courts are going to take custody away from her very soon. She says she's going to do everything she can to try and protect Simone. But Carlotta doesn't want that. Carlotta says, you, you don't need to intervene anymore. You're not helping the situation. Simone, you know, Simone is a good heart. So she's trying to see, is there anything I could do? She said, no, sweetie, there's nothing. Noah is going to be going on tour. And that's great. The only issue is he has to go on tour. He needs to drop an album by next month, which we know Noah creatively doesn't have it like that. So now it's this whole game of how is he going to get this album done? How is he going to get this tour rolling? Um, and while all of that's going on, we see the girls, they come in and they get alerted that sorry the group thing that that's going to be shelved for six months because i need alex to come on tour and you know alex miss crane miss i know my rights i know my rights there's no way that i'm gonna go and do something like that i i i i i i i i <clears throat> the boss says listen up i own your image i own your name i own your brand i own your sound i own your time i was waiting for him to say i own you but you know I guess they weren't trying to make it too slave masterish. That's the problem again with these record deals. Once you sign them, you're on their schedule. You're no longer on your own. I think that's the main thing that people miss when they are willing to sign these deals. And what makes it worse is Carlotta's thinking she, her man being there, a part of A&R, that that's helping them. But it's not. It's not because he still has his own personal interests. He really likes Carlotta, and that's the only reason why he's going to even try to fight for this group. And that's the sad reality of it all. That's the sad reality. High Hill comes, and he goes and wiggles his way in, because this is High Hill we're talking about. He's a con artist. He's a scammer. He's a booster. He's going to do whatever he can to flip it and make it work. And oh, High Hill's job is to figure out what is it they need to they need to have a couple of steps ahead right now they don't they need to know what the competition is doing so i hill is going to have to go and flirt with some um uh, with some record exec in order to go and get some information carlotta is like wait a minute wait a minute my girls are not going to be 
taken out of the equation what's going on here they're going to do a contest essentially who can never appease the boss first will be the person will be the group that can go on tour because originally this whole you know first of all having the men on tour would cost less to the ladies will come out and sell arenas to go and see men on tour and i said you're not wrong when you're right you're not wrong when you're right that is how it works derek's over at therapy derek's head isn't in the game the therapist is saying look your session is over i'm trying to save you some money there's no point in me going and doing this it's mind over matter you need to get your mind in this so that you can use it to move your legs you're distracted, so this isn't going to work. And did I feel bad for Derek? No, because, again, you have to prioritize, prioritize. What do you want more? Alex or your leg? Now, take three is pissed because they're trying to figure out, we're, we're doing all of this, and it feels like you're not doing anything. And he said, look, I, I'm really doing this for Kalada. Don't, don't get it twisted. Do not get it twisted. I'm doing this for Carlotta. I'm doing this for my woman my woman you all need to fall back let me do what i do and we'll be good i said you was a trifling anyway they're practicing they're practicing the song and okay practice is going well and i'm thinking all right this is taking a little while noah comes in and noah essentially it's kind of weird because now that we now that everyone else knows the severity of Noah's relationship with Star, how it just feels even weirder. And Alex is over it. Alex is trying to figure out. So you had someone with Star, and now you're trying to go in the canoe with me. Look, I'm gonna do whatever I have to do to fulfill my uh, obli you know contractual obligations. But let's be very clear: whatever you think is between us, it's not between us. I said you're lying. <laughs> Oh, you're lying. You're not even good at it. You're lying. <laughs> if I could see, he could definitely see it. Simone confides in Angel and lets him know that she, essentially the court system is so messed up that one of the ways that she's a, in juvie and she, right now she doesn't have a parental unit that could step in legally. And because of that, she needs to either get married or... Like I said, she needs that parental unit or she needs a really steady job. Well, like one of the three. While all that's happening, they get close because he talks about Karen. And it's like, I, I don't get you. So I think that was his way of fishing to see. Is Karen, is that whole Karen thing? Is that just like sexual? Ooh, or what is, are you really lesbian? I don't know. All I do know is Simone's flexible. I mean, fluid. Because she has a long embrace, which we figured was going to happen eventually with Angel. Cotton was just going and doing some stuff outside with the garbage. And then here comes, what's his name, Oscar? Her old dude from jail. And essentially his mentality is, I protected you in jail, so I own you type of thing. Uh, if you don't do as I say, I'm going to hurt your family. You need to leave town with me. I said, mm, this isn't... Someone's going to be leaving town, but it's not going to be Cotton. But while all that's going on, Alex is in the studio with Noah, and he they're working on music together. And again, Alex is over it because she's trying to figure out, you could have done this on your own. You really don't need me. He's like, yeah, but I want you here. And I said, oh, I'm tired of this. I am so tired of this. So now it's part two of Derek and Star. Uh talking while they're outside and Derek acknowledges the fact that look his head isn't in the game and she was like, don't worry about it wheelchair man you'll walk again I said you do need to stop it um but I, I you know I, I think I may be able to appreciate their little therapy sessions that they're having Star goes back to the same club she sees the same dude and she sings she sings this song and you could and I said okay okay this works while she's seeing that song, everyone's vibing to it. Once she's done, she starts having a panic attack. And then she throws up off stage. And then she storms out of there. Now, it's important to know that she already told this guy that she is a part of a group. It's called Take Three. And she works at or for the record label that's, you know, downtown. Now, High Hill, 
he finds this record exec's daughter and he's trying to schmooze her he he gets her the alcohol i mean she had the girls out the girls are out she but she's married she's married and she's working on the big business proposal and it looked like that was the end of that until we realized that wait a minute she left her keychain and it looked like it was either a coach or a louis keychain and i said uh oh that's your way in Ooh. now after that carlotta she's perplexed because she sees cotton you know shaking up grandmother cons is consoling her auntie saying look we need help we need action we need someone who's gonna go and handle business because whatever it is you think you have going on whatever it is you think is going to get done the way how you want it to be done it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen and so carlotta finally kind of gives in because it's that whole mantra of my daughter and, and it's interesting because now she's saying my daughter and that's gonna happen to my daughter my baby girl i said look at you carlotta the growth the growth okay but now the bad i mean i should not the bad side of the family the troublemaking side of the family comes in to save the day or so we think take three is trying to regroup trying to figure out what's going to be their next step their next move Sarge is trying to convince Simone, don't worry, we're going to figure out something in order to make sure that you don't stay in juvie. Then, <laughs> her, <laughs> then her, her side dude, that's what I'm going to call him right now, I don't care what his name is. So side dude comes along and Alex and Simone said, oh, so we have something to do. Okay, handle your business, girl. Yeah. Handle your business. Handle it. I said, y'all doing too much. Y'all doing too much. But he's there because he realized you have a lot of pain in your voice. I'm thinking, if only you knew how bad. If only you knew how bad. And he gave her the recording of her song. And she, even though she appreciated that, she was just like, look, you don't want to know me. You don't. You And when I say you don't, you really, 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 really don't. And yet she still gives him her number, which we know that's the gateway. And I'm just looking at this guy like his features look very similar to a hunter. So I don't know if this is going to be a side storyline to where he's connected because you never know. You never know. Now, High Hill goes and brings the good news. Well, brings the goods. And the goods essentially are that that other record label, they're trying to sign a major artist. We don't get the name of the artist at that time, but that's what the news is. Which means that Angel and Andy, A&A, &A, <laughs> are going to go on tour. It's going to be an all-guys tour. Well, they're bringing Alex as well. Carla is pissed because she's trying to figure out, so what was the point of all this? What was the point of all this? I feel like you're playing me. Simone's pissed because she, she, even though she knows that it's not personal, she's just trying to figure out why. Like Angel, really, really. So it wasn't because the, the we did showcases because of some backwoods deal that you did. Okay, all right, all right. Carlotta, still upset with High Hill, goes and confronts him. Let's him know. Are you kidding me? Is that what really happened? You're trying to tell me that you thought it was a good idea to go and do something like that. Those girls worked really hard. And because you wanted to make a way for yourself, because you wanted to scheme and scrap, that, that's why you did that to them? So now Simone stays in juvie. You get a piece of the pie. And it was like, oh, well, well what do I look like living in someone else's backyard? She said, ergo, someone else's backyard. That backyard that you you were thankful to have before is now just some crappy backyard. Oh, oh, okay. Which is how it is for a lot of people. You go and you do something for them, and then they turn on you. They turn on you with a blink of an eye, not even trying, not even thinking twice about it. It's sad. Really sad. So now Carlotta has to regroup, figure out, how can I go and finesse the system that's finessing me. So she goes to the only potential ally she could have. She goes back to Ayana. Well, Ayana comes to her shop, says, ooh, this looks dusty. Okay. But they make a deal. They make a deal because, remember, remember, Carlotta had that information 
on um, Ayana and that whole setup, but she didn't use it. And so she's not threatening her with that. She's just saying, isn't it convenient how you start to mess around with High Hill and then uh, timing wise, your father finds out about the information that you were trying to keep secret from him and then you are out and now High Hill's in. It's always, and it's kind of perpetuating the main point of it's always a boys club, it's always a men's club, regardless of what you say or do, regardless of how hard you work to try and ch change the dynamics. And because of that, what ends up happening is what happened here. The girls, they really tried to, uh, you know, make away from themselves, but then guys came and took away their opportunity. So they agree that they're going to work together. They're going to figure something out. Now, what exactly? I don't know. No one sees, well, he's semi-stalking Alex. So he sees her in a coffee shop and they kind of make this weird agreement that they're going to keep it professional. And I said, okay, that's great. Next. Ayana goes, meets her father and threatens him because before she left, she made a deal with a good friend of hers regarding the record company and I think regarding promotions and tours or product placement, whatever it was, whatever that deal was, it's huge for the company. Because of that, she essentially says, take three is also going on tour. They're going on, that's my, that's my main thing. I know I can't come back, but take three is going back on tour. Because if you don't do that, I'll make sure that, you know, you and your salacious behavior, allegations, they may be, but... The last thing you want is those allegations to come out and this certain sponsor of ours to go and find out about them or to feel like she can do something about it. So I said, huh, interesting. So what's, what's Ayana going to do? See, that's the only thing you have to watch her. She may try to take over that whole situation. I don't know. Sar talks to Carlotta and this is when she finds out she was listening to a recording of herself. And this is when she finds out Whew. when her mom OD'd, that was the song that was playing and it just kept playing in the loop. So then Star kept singing it in a loop. She, I think she just kept singing it for like two weeks. And so she was remembering the past, which is something that Star has spent a lot of time trying to block out, which is why it was so huge for her. She was like, oh my gosh, really? Really? So now Ihana's daddy goes and lets them know that, hey, everyone, both groups are going on tour. Yeah, so they were able to go and get the scoop, sign the artist, which is what the father really wanted. And it was interesting because Carlotta was invited to church by her mother and sister, and they were singing. They were singing. That's why you have to at least, even if you go on Tidal or Spotify or Apple Music and listen to the soundtrack, I have to give it to them. They were singing in that church. I said, oh, okay. Simone goes and gets married to Angel so that she doesn't have to worry about being put back in juvie. Um, cotton tricks. Her ex jail dude and they were about to kill him and i was so happy they put a plastic bag over his head i said do it 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 but then she stopped she stopped us oh god you're punking out on us all right but she said look don't ever come back in town and miss bruce was there miss bruce was there it was like don't come back in town because i promise you there will be no second chance and i'm glad for that so now uh, Carlisle lets it be known that they're all going on tour, which means that uh, that means that Simone will come out of the juvie. They finally get an opportunity that they wanted. No one knows that Simone was married now. It, it's just so much going on. It is so much going on. And then the episode ends with Hahil. He's looking at the TV and he's trying to figure out, wait a minute, what? Apparently... Hunter's 
mom's sister is looking into her disappearance or death, whatever. And so it's one of those things where Brody comes back because he says, oh, we have a problem. Oh, yeah, Cyborg, it's Quavo. Quavo's the artist that they signed. I said, Quavo is really, really doing a lot to make sure he stays in that mainstream light. And I respect it. I really do. I truly do. So that's it. Please like, comment, subscribe. Come back next week.